Normies back with y'all with some Lucifer Brown Pass Spidey Mickey Raw Now Dameron Well I don't know what happened last episode but I know we're gonna do a quick <laughs> recap And what's the episode name though? Yeah, I know yeah. I know we agreed to dress like Dan and none of I yeah. forgot <laughs> it was so long. I forgot it was so Oh trip to the Stabby Town Stabby That's Town a, uh, Trip to Stabby Town which what is, if, I wonder what it's gonna be. What a spoiling title. Right? <laughs> <Right. laughs> would assume woman. someone takes a knife. Mm, yeah. mm, we would see. We would I hope it's um, maybe like Maze doing her bounty hunter job now or something. That'd be cool. Mm. Like, you know, yeah. If we if we get a procedural episode, but like from Maze's perspective, yeah, I, th cool. I think that would be that would be something different. Yeah, that would be dope. I'm done for. Yeah, remember, remember last time Maze became a bounty hunter. Yeah. Linda finally came out because she was tripping. She was yeah. not having it. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Did yeah. Linda and Mays yeah. make up or no? Yeah, they did. Yeah. They did. They okay. took, uh, Mays took her out for drinks with her first check from oh, as a right. yeah. director. Which she was so proud of. We're all yeah. kind of proud of Mays. Yeah. You, you, you guys remember that proud. movie from like way back in the day where it's like, my name is Domino Harvey and I am a bounty hunter. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. It, it was just called I Domino. know the dogs. <laughs> I think it was, I think it was oh. Kira Knightley and she was playing a bounty hunter. Oh, yeah. That's hilarious. <laughs> Kira Knightley was? Yeah. This must have been. That's how the trailer started. It's like, and, <laughs> my name is Domino Harvey. <laughs> I want to okay, see that. I'm going to have to watch it. It's called Domino. Okay. And the last episode was just Basically, like a flashback of Chloe's life and her dad, like the killer not being oh, the killer, yeah. and then he's involved in the Russian mob, or like he was looking into the Russian mob, or right? Whatever. Investigating them, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, at the time of his death, yeah. which all of a sudden made the casual robbery term well, actually, it wasn't a robbery term murder, it was yeah. a murder term robbery, robbery. Right. <laughs> yeah, which we all thought was kind of odd, right? Yeah. You don't just walk into a place attempting to get like chump change and kill somebody, yeah. right? Like, immediately, it. right? You know, yeah, so. So that makes more sense as to why he died. Or, right, you know, right. How he died, I guess. Uh, and then uh, Mum is... We haven't seen her in a while, actually. No, nah, yeah. we, we saw her and Amanda Deal kind of hanging out a little bit here and there. And she's kind of, I feel like, getting into his head a little bit. Yeah. Like, yeah. You know. yeah, the same way that we think that maybe she got into Lucifer's head. Like, mm -hmm. maybe she spun the whole story of how um, he was sent from heaven or cast out of heaven because of her not because of god and yeah. you know to spare him from being destroyed and all that stuff so right. i have a feeling she has her own agenda mm -hmm. she's pushing her own narrative i don't i don't fully trust her yet. yeah exactly right exactly all right that was a we'll see what happens a decent mom. recap yeah, yeah. We hope to see mom we're here for it yeah we are here for it all right let's just go ahead and start it you guys know that it's not a mark of substitute right. check this out on netflix it used to be on fox so go check it on that on fox if you had still get a chance to then come back and join us back on youtube for our reaction discussions um if you want to get ahead check out our patreon check out our skit uh with which will help you able to do skits actually this week we're going to do the lucifer skit Yay. so you should be able to watch it in two weeks hopefully <laughs> oh yeah Game streams, podcasts, TikTok, oh. TikTok, we yeah, run to this on a TikTok. Join us on TikTok. Check yeah, yeah. we are a road to 10k. What? Well, how close are we? We hit 7k this morning. All right, oh. by next week when I do this, it better be 10k. We got yeah, this. it better be 3k. Better. 3k in one week. Yeah, yeah. If you're watching this, do it. Oh, we're gonna go hard on TikTok <laughs> this week. Yeah, let's do it. I can't wait for a day like this. I'm gonna write a book. Oh, oh, yeah, oh, you can't. Interesting. Run! Is anybody gonna help her? Run! Hey, look at the dude back there. Just know what's in this shit? Look at all these cats. No, you, you scream fire. No one cares. And no about one's it coming. Leave her alone, okay? Okay, at least he, people, he people, did his best. What the fuck? There's like nobody to help her. People, people tried. But you can still try now. What do you mean people tried? Oh, oh in broad daylight, nobody sees this shit. Nobody trying to stop nothing. Oh, people tried. What? <laughs> yeah, he, he told him to stop. And Dude, leave her holy alone. shit. Honestly, though, I feel like that's how it would go down. Like, <laughs> unfortunately, you know, it's, it's the crowd. Of I would hope I would kick the motherfucker's ass. Mm. Nah, Pat, I think once he blows through you, you're just going to be like, oh, well, I got to still go to the store. Are we not losing her back together? I was worried I'd never see you again. I thought I'd scared you off for good. Yes, well, Maze, of all people, gave me some needed clarity. <laughs> Did she now? Yes. Hi. What about my Uncle Edwin? Mm -hmm. Is he down there? Because he was you know, one. He was one bad mamma jamma. Mamma jamma. <laughs> <laughs> well, now she's somewhere to the left of totally useless to the right of badly lunatic. Mm, I'm sure she'll be fine, but if you need anyone to talk to, I'm here. Say by the douche. 
<laughs> oh, no hoodie to it. No, but he's holding something. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> also, blonde head hair. So odds are really good. We're looking for a white guy. Hey, guys. She's got something over here. Tourists caught the beginning moments of the attack in the background. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> you, they tried, right? Oh, Look, man, it was, just a, it was a selfie. Oh, boy. With a alley as the backdrop. <laughs> Azrael's blade wants to kill. It demands to be used to, to fulfill its purpose. Humans are more malleable than we are, so it whispers in their ears, beckons to be held. So you should have kept that shit at home. Well, good luck. I like her Fire Nation fun. <laughs> you want to help, Mace? No, thanks. Let me remind you, I have a job. Nice. And let me remind you that the blade doesn't just kill humans. It also obliterates celestial beings, That's including true. demons. Which is why the detective can't be part of this investigation. Now, Whoa. To, this is cool. Our own story. side investigation. Somewhere right. won't be found this time. A godly one. Team B. You will. Very well. And one note. You're to do so without disturbing the grave site in the slightest. So specifically, that footprint there. Why? Look at this detective work. To help me examine it. <laughs> yeah, it looks like he's learned a few things. Yeah. yeah. As a public consultant. Yes, <laughs> yeah. your scientific expertise on a discreet matter. Mm. Dirty test. <laughs> <laughs> I saw it be so irresponsible. Y yeah. <laughs> if you do this favor for me, then I'll do a favor for you in return. Lucifer, the whole point of a favor is to do it for free. Okay, and then you just trust. The love will come back to you somehow. Favors are about faith. Aww. Please don't ruin favors for me. Yeah. <laughs> Man, whatever. I'm with Emma on that one. I don't know. I'm kind of with Lucy on that one. Yeah, me too. Oh, I'm with Lucy on this one too. Yeah. We'll discuss altruism in oh. the discussion. Oh. <laughs> no, I wrote it down. I mean, you know, we're looking for someone who had a real hatred for Maddie. Does anyone come to mind? No. Maddie was a wholesome soul. Anyone who so much as raised a patchouli scented eyebrow in Maddie's direction could be the killer. I'm just being fair, detective. Like you said, shake the bushes until the truth flies free. <laughs> I don't think I've ever said that before. No? Mm -mm. Ah, perhaps it was Miss Lopez. Mm. You've been spending a lot of time with Ella. Yeah. Oh! oh. Yeah. <laughs> you seem to notice that more than any of the weird yeah. shit that goes on. Yeah, right? <laughs> like, what does Ella look show into? that the brain does some of its best work when it's not Sissom trying? Down. Yeah. That's why great ideas come in the shower. Damn yeah, right. Women. It's Christian rock for sure. Yes. Well. straight. Or sublime. I. <laughs> Trans Siberian work. Rehydrated. That bird piece of paper was on Oh, shit. Sure. They can do that. Using polyvinyl acetate. What? what? I ran these pieces through a pattern recognition program and I found two things. Shit, sure, remind me that's a terrible way to burn out. What looks to be <laughs> a map. Or stay there until it's downtown all burnt. LA, <laughs> that exact spot you took me to. All right. What was the second thing? Some business logo of a law firm. Wow. Your mom! Mm hmm Your mom and partners. Mm -hmm. Did someone find the blade? Oh, so you admit that you've had a human, sir? Well, not a human, more like ten. Ten? Maybe twelve. Uh, Fifteen? Only my craftiest clients. What? Mm. Why would you release Azrael's blade into the world? Because right. I wanted to get your father's attention. What the fuck? It's crazy that I want to talk about it. Uh, Mourn with him, maybe? So I, I want to see Daddy now. No, my mom's yes. playing. Yeah. Oh, yes. Humans are dying because of you. Well, humans die. They all do eventually. It's what they were designed to do. Yes, but yeah, we've been talking about humans. I keep looking at that painting. Isn't it's the pomegranate like symbolism in religion? I have no idea about it. It's so good though. Hmm. It is my, one of my favorite. It's my favorite fruit of all time. My pudding is gone. I'm sorry. The break room fridge. My pudding clearly labeled Dan. So. <laughs> 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 Your police investigate. We're gonna schedule stakeout. Yeah. 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 For sure. No, yeah. For sure, yeah. man. I, I'll, I'll fight over that one. We have. The pudding, though? Where's the friend all working on a case like that? Why? This is about partnership. Nothing more. Partners don't keep secrets. Well, maybe with Ella it's more than just sex. Maybe it's a little more serious. <laughs> <laughs> Stoking the fire. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> Not like this, but what? Like poker. Dan has a monthly game. 
Oh, no, another one. <laughs> She's like, shut up. Right, where's that list of grievances? <laughs> 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 he handed her something. Yeah, he did. <laughs> sure did. <laughs> You're gonna get it weird. <laughs> Calm down. <laughs> Pissed. There were some signs of a break in. Just so you know, this whole mama's boy thing, kind of a turn off. Oh, yeah. Slightly all fucking anyway. Well, your whole skin tight leather hot body everywhere thing, it's really not that. They're gonna, they gonna fuck in that office. It's not It's not that, that great. <laughs> yeah, it is. <laughs> He's like, we're yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, you should. Probably one of us. We're not going anywhere, all right? Chill. There's no way. Right, here's the back way up. I like his jacket, though. Ah, detective. Mm-hmm. You know, after reflection, I think you're right. Parking space theory is no matter for murder. What? What? There's more blood? Whoa. Blade wasn't there because he's using it. Ah! Who'd he kill? Well, I say this with huge respect for the dead, but this case is totally gonna be a panel at the next forensic conference. Okay, so I have one It looks like Duncan came through the door, mm-hmm. attacked victim number two with the same weapon he used to kill Maddie Howe, but Duncan had ligature marks on his neck, like someone strangled him from behind with a yoga strap, like this. Here. Oh. Oh my god, no! Uh oh. Uh oh. And that is very specific. How the fuck? She's on the bottom going, this, guys? Okay, so it all happened like you just said it did, which is crazy. There are seven mats and seven bodies. Yeah, so? So Duncan is the pissed off landlord. Subtract him. 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 Taught by Jensen. You know Taylor what? Himself. I think I know who it is. I'm not gonna say it though. No, who? It's, it's the dude on the cardboard. Yeah, I was just about to say. They showed that. They showed the cardboard cut out of him yeah. earlier too. Well, tell me, tell me what you want, what you really, really want. <laughs> I'll tell you what I want, what I really, really want. Tell me what you want. And, and take this raspberry. Thing. That actually sounds pretty fire. Oh! Backslid oh. oh. <laughs> <laughs> a little bit, alright. Backslid oh. a little bit. Hey man, it's okay. <laughs> We've all hit the point. I feel you, bro. <laughs> no one's gonna find their home self from a guru who looks like ye old furniture. <laughs> <laughs> your lies are as thick as your makeup. <laughs> That's it. I want my lawyer now. Put your belly no, away. Yeah, put that <laughs> Don't eat him. That's like a... That was like Zap or Anakin. Do try on. We need to find a safe in the basement. Right. Are those Pop-Tarts? No. Pop-Tarts. Oh! Yes. Oh, badass, trust me. It doesn't look like it, but I am. What flavor, though? That's that's probably cherry. If it's not brown cinnamon sugar, it's not right. I'm a s'mores man or an Oreo man. Gross. The first thing I ever put in the microwave as a little kid was Pop Tart, but I put it in the with the metal. Oh my <laughs> god, you're Pat. Hey, my my grandma was wave. like, "All right, we're gonna move the microwave up here." <laughs> <laughs> oh. Yes. Oh. But, uh, <laughs> sick of yeah. timing. Just it literally looks like he's in a relationship, uh, which is so unlike him. It's a store that has really special soap and... <laughs> Jen, now she's gonna lie. <laughs> <laughs> going out and clean stuff. She is literally yeah, backpedaling. Yeah. Clean stuff with soap? <laughs> Enjoy your shower. <laughs> oh <my God>. <laughs> <laughs> We checked her house. She wasn't there. Forensics confirms that she didn't the clean at Soul Depot, her so way. she's either running, hiding, or scared. I've got a bolo. Soul Depot. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> nice time. I didn't hear that earlier. Where are you going? If it ends up being hurt, like I swear I don't know these things ahead of time. I just like randomly say he did it. She <laughs> did it. You're guessing a lot of things. <laughs> I feel like you even guessed the angel of death one time. We'll see. I don't know what happened. Oh my god, it was her. I was in class and Duncan barged in. It was horrible. And the knife was on the ground. It started calling him. 
No shit. But well, it was a dude in the beginning. You know, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but it's Asriel's blade that's like calling you people. It, to see it, it was the old dude at first. I, I killed him. I, I did this. I acted in self defense. Mr. Glory attacked Corinne first. She had no choice but to wield that knife, Detective. I think in this case, justice is actually been served. Well, you know, we have a. Uh... But she killed 16 other people. We have pr- no, 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 it was no, no, Duncan. No. The, the, blade, the blade switches. Because it was a dude in the beginning, remember? Run, and then right now it called now to her. it's gone. Yep, of course. The first cop that came in took it. You shouldn't have bagged it without taking photos. They couldn't help themselves. It just happened. No, it's gone, bro. Anyone feel a murder? Anyone? Ah, Lucifer's gonna really get stabbed. Dan, Dan got it! Oh, Dan! Is He's he so athletically sound, he could kill so many. He's probably jealous of Lucy. Oh, for yeah. sure. What? No way. No way, dude. No way, dude. Detective douche. <laughs> Don't call it douche. <laughs> Why did you put down the knife? Hmm? My life went to hell, man. That's like, that's so true. true. Yo, this is crazy. That's a great metaphor. Yeah, that's, that's, cool. that's nice. That's nice staging. I like it. Yeah, that's a good, that's a good, that's a good detail. Yeah. Is he gonna remember this? I hope not. I mean, my stacks. Hilarious. Okay, yes. I sometimes lay waste to the precinct. Have mercy, Daniel. Have mercy. Because it was late. Dan is doing so good. You know, did I ruin it? No. Dan's doing so good. Shit, Dan. What are we doing back here? Hmm? Oh, just a nice intimate chat between friends. I'm glad you got it off your chest. How are you doing? (laughs) (laughs) I feel great, actually. Good. (laughs) <laughs> wow, that's the best therapy right there. Right. I wish he was like improv, though, and he was just like, and see. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, he did so well. He no, did it, bro. It was labels. Label. Yeah. <laughs> well, I've never been average, Linda. Mentally, physically, and as you know, sexually. <laughs> oh my god. You had sex with the devil! So that much. just occurred to you? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and you're welcome. <laughs> okay, you see, that I understand. Narcissistic tendency is rooted in a complex paternal relationship and a disrupted adolescence. See? Just another screwed up patient, and you can treat me as such. The doctor's in. Aww. That was the sexiest thing she said in the entire show. <laughs> I don't know why. <laughs> I really do have urgent business to attend to. Are you certain that this is the favor you desire? Because uh, believe me, when I say the last two times I've done Taking him to church. Oh my god, you really yes. taking him to church? Oh my gosh, he's taking him to church. Look, since the moment we've met, okay, I've had this spidey sense that you were searching for something. Right. Spiritual lost and found. Yes, and I have found a lot since I developed a relationship with the big guy. So That's guess. his paja. Yeah, doesn't he? Doesn't he burn if he goes to church? No. But I heard people people who are the devil can't go to the church because, like, you know, there's like. That's at least some other shows. Yeah. yeah. No, you're right. Other lore, but I'm assuming this one he's technically oh, an angel. Oh, one thing we do keep forgetting this is this is this show's based more off like the DC comics. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. There's a comic. This is a comic. Yeah. yeah. I, I didn't know that either. I want oh. that. I am not going back to hell. Yeah, bro, just stay on earth. This is about heaven. It's about going home. Hell wasn't home, and heaven was... What? Hell! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I've ever felt wanted or respected. Is here with humanity? Yes! This Don't stab that. your mom. Don't stab your mom. You look angry. Ooh, look at that fire come off that shit. That's dope. Oh. No, she's smart. She, she got a scared. Blade in his hand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But they did something like different. What's that saying? My dear husband closes the door. He opens the window. Yo, oh my God. Whoa! Did you see her eyes? Yeah. Do you not see your mom's evil right there? Yeah. <laughs> she's like. <laughs> 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 All right. 
<laughs> fucking mom like the here. Monty Burns. Like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to look up something while you guys talk. Okay. All right. Yeah. This was actually a fun This episode. was a good episode. It was fun yes. to see like the detective work on the side of Lucy and stuff. Yeah, yeah. I like Dan. Yeah, yeah, Dan has great. made a, a long, a good, strong turnaround <laughs> he, he did. as he, far as dudes. Man, we all do that kind of therapy. We just like let out each other. Like, look how amazing he felt after. Yeah. He yeah. had this little moment of range. He was right. like, you know, I'm kind of tired of just doing the one note detective thing. They were like, all right, you got 30 seconds. Just let it all out. Like, they, they, he killed it. it himself. <laughs> yeah. like, what if they come in and I have something in my hand, but it's like a blade? Like, all right, Dan, you're yeah, something. Yeah. yeah. Okay, yeah, I was kind of right. What? Um, okay, so it says, uh, Christianity, a symbol of resurrection and life everlasting in Christian art. The pomegranate is often found mm. in devotional statues and paintings of the virgin and the child. Yeah, I thought so. Yeah. So it's just associated with, like, the mother. Yeah. Like, it's a, it's a symbol of fertility. Yeah. yeah. Oh. Neat. That's a nice little that. touch in her office. Yeah. yeah. So it's, it's interesting that the third painting is like yeah, the, not, you know, it's right. cut in half, but yeah. it's, it's almost like slots, you know, it's like yeah. slots. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That is interesting. Hmm. It's so tight. I touch. Yeah, because it, it, it was like very prominent in the background. I was like, oh, yeah. Yeah, it Extremely. Was. They're showing it off. And I swear, I know I'm guessing a lot of things, but I'm not, I don't know anything about the show. Okay. I have not watched the head. <laughs> It's well, just procedural. Yeah. <laughs> it was just, like when I like I had no idea it was gonna be that lady. I just I, like I say it as a meme now. I'm like it was her. He did it. <laughs> like, like, it's so usually the her. ones that you don't expect. Technically, it was both. For, right? They always have the red robin or like the red whatever red herring. Yeah, so it's it's they always have that. So as, lo- as long as the one you least expect is the ones that are gonna be it usually. Yeah, because 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 in the beginning it was like a dude. So yeah. I, I didn't expect the. T- so who was that guy? <laughs> Remember, no, that was said it was both. It was. It was, it was, so it was the lawyer. Was lawyer. Yeah, mm-hmm. he had it, and then Duncan had it, right? Yeah, right. Duncan was the lawyer. <laughs> right. Duncan, Duncan, Duncan no, was l- whatever. Lawyer, yeah, Duncan was the lawyer. Yes, yes. So Duncan, Duncan comes, murders yoga class. Yoga right. chick gets it. Right, and murders her boss. Guru. Yeah, yeah, and then yeah. kills the guru because basically it's like whoever the has guru. the knife is compelled to kill, essentially, uh. and so they take yeah. It's like the same way that Dan like took out his aggression on Lucifer. Mm, just perceived brooding. aggression. Yeah, exactly. So yeah. Brooding the girl the that took the knife <laughs> from the mass killing. Karina. She didn't, Karina. She didn't kill anyone there. No, no, no. So no, how she did she take the, the knife though? Because it probably called to her in that moment. It was probably just like yeah. Because the only murder that like Lucifer was forgiven her for was the, the one, one the way, when he got she when she got raped for the the guru. Yeah. Which makes sense. So like she had no murders in the other one. So the the guru to take the knife from Duncan. No, she the, did. She the did. guru didn't end up going to his class. She took the blade and went to the guru. Because she was subbing in for the guru at his class. You know, for the girls, like, Karina said, he's like, you were raped by the, the guru. Mm-hmm. Like, the, you were killed, like, for a reason. He tried to bury it, so he kind of told, like, it was self-defense, like, stood up sure. for her. Yeah. And plus, the well, dagger was, like, manipulating her yeah. to a yeah. certain extent as well. Yeah. Yeah. Which, like, which like that twist at the end, it, it is, like, an awful thing, and it makes sense, you know, self-defense or whatever. But I feel like they just kind of, <laughs> just kind of tuck that in and <laughs> yeah. yeah. close yeah. the story yeah. off, you know? Clearly, it was just, like, take a stick. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. <laughs> The opening was pretty intense. That lady got run off in her the bike. middle of the yeah. I'm sorry. Yeah. In Indianapolis or any other place, like if you saw that, people would run like hey, it was pretty intense. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. Who, who really knows? Like we should damn near try it. That's just tag all over the bike. We're, 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 we're colored people. Yeah. We're not. Doing we're gonna anything. get shot. It is LA though. I don't know how close they were to like Skid Row, but like oh, yeah. shit goes down. Like yeah. people people don't live in. Da- I don't I don't know how it is there today, but like. Downtown living is not really big in LA sure because not. because of Skid Row, um, and fucked up shit does happen. Mm-hmm. Honestly, the whole in the daytime people trying to be like ah, oh, and then like you said, well I still gotta go to the store. <laughs> like, yeah, that, yeah. that was more believable yeah, to is. me. But the yeah. picture that took us like the That's couple to the couple that took the selfie. Yeah. It's like you're right next to the beach. All these arts on this building. Yeah. They're like, let's take a selfie next to this it's scaffolding. The, yeah, <laughs> <the scaffolding. laughs> like, of, of all the places to take a selfie. If anyone has ever caught something <laughs> wild in the background of their pictures, send that stuff in. <laughs> yeah, honestly, I'd talk to us on Instagram. I don't know, know if I, I don't know if I've ever. Oh my god! I don't, think I don't know any wild either. moments I've ever had in the background. No. <laughs> Oh. That is that's that's pretty fucking intense. Though. Yeah, it's not <laughs> murder. Have, have, seen a murder? Like, <laughs> have you ever ended up in somebody else's picture though in the background? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah that's always fun. Let us know if a murder happened in any of your pictures. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> 
So <laughs> Linda sees Lucifer again. She's gone over the fact that he's the devil. Oh my god! What do you guys think yeah. of that? That was the sexiest moment of Linda <laughs> yeah. for her to just sell it and accept it all. You're a monster. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. She was like the doctor's in. Yeah, she yeah. just all of it. She was just she, like, okay, she's yeah. okay. Let's had do this. Had to reset. I mean, yeah, yeah it, it makes sense. You're gonna have to take some time to process this. Yeah, yeah. but she got over it. Yeah. But I would like an episode where her questions were answered. It's like, what about Hitler? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I want to know how we got tortured, bro. Yeah. Yeah. Uncle Edwin. Sure. Yeah, is there a wing for these people? Like, she was asking some legit questions. Yeah, <laughs> I never really noticed the color design in this show because, like, the only time I noticed it is like in Breaking Bad. But it was nice to see that they were both wearing. Purple, the background books was purple, mm-hmm. the green, like you said, and everything. Mm-hmm. And like, they're getting good. Green, you see the green orange, orange purple is a, a tri- triadic. Yeah. Think. Green, orange, purple. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And it's also real quick, like back on that scene, real quick. It was nice to know that, like, it was nice to see Lucifer therapy her for a moment mm-hmm. and, like, switch roles. Yeah. And to claim that the angel of death is a girl. I didn't know it's his sister, too. Yeah. yeah, Asriel. So that's something I was going to ask is because Uriel brought Asriel's blade to mm-hmm. Earth. Right. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So that's how we got here. So how did he get it from the Azrael sister in the first place? Yeah. Right. Yeah. Was that? Azrael just left it chilling somewhere. Yeah, yeah Azrael exactly. just left, left it chilling left it at somewhere. The table. I, I feel like we, this character has been talked about enough that I feel like we have to be getting close to it. Yeah. I hope it's L. I yeah. hope it ends up being L. Oh! Yeah, I think that's I what Mickey Azrael. said. That like he yeah, we all well, yeah. That's he, like the general. I just theory. feel like she's. She's as real. Yeah, exactly, exactly. I don't know. I don't know if she's gonna end up being that, but like, I just feel like she's got. I don't know. I, I her. I mean, she's the death forensics person. There's like so many. She wears the cross. There's so many little nods indicating Ella, yeah. Asriel. Yeah, like, Ella and Asriel, man. Asriel, Ella, yeah. I don't Hmm. Yeah, I think there's just too many things. I mean, she says that she well, has a bunch his, of brothers. If that's his sister, then the way she was holding him and explaining shit and on the floor. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's kind well, of lot of But also, they're, they're really, they're strange. Like, <laughs> yeah. mom doesn't understand little boundaries where she's like, son, do you know about reverse Carl Calgary? Yeah. Yeah. And he's like, I don't, I can't. Oh, <laughs> yeah. like, Coming from divinity, all of like these mortal coils, they just like don't right. understand like, what's PC and what's not nah. PC. Basically. She's like, just stabbing away. <laughs> <laughs> that, was, that was good. That was hilarious. And I loved the, I think, what's the actor's name? Tom Ellis. Lucifer's yeah. his face. Yeah. He was just like, <laughs> <laughs> Um, and then correct me in the comments. I, I know this is like based off some comics. I don't know if it was a DC property, although I'm pretty mm-hmm. sure because they did a crossover event it's with DC. with one of your guys' shows, didn't they? Not that I know of. Why? Why might the the, the the CW shows? There's okay. See, they're like didn't they do? A, so they, I watched like he said they did a little crossover. Thing I can't Lucifer. remember. I only watch um, Lucifer did. I don't know. I watched DC and Legends of Tomorrow, uh, Supergirl, and and Flash. So I haven't seen person. Mm-hmm. I haven't okay. caught up to them. Well, correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure it was. It's a DC property. I'm so, not, not caught up fully, though. DC is superheroes, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, like, how is it superhero? Well, I mean, comics don't necessarily have to be superheroes all the time. There's there's all right. kinds of comics out there. Have you ever read Happy? No. Dark stuff. Or like Preacher. Not Didn't it. they make a Netflix thing on that? Yeah. It, it, with, the, with like the imaginary yeah. unicorn really, or whatever? It's, it's oh, sick. yeah. Yes. I uh, had the movie. <laughs> oh, man, <laughs> I didn't, I didn't that movie's so good. Oh, no, okay. Maybe I'm thinking of something else. No, I, know, I, know, I, I never saw it. Uh, or I mean, that, it was on my list, but I never saw it. <laughs> but oh, no, you're right, it is a show. Yes, I have seen it. I know exactly what you're talking about. I have not seen it. Uh, I'm trying to remember the actor's name. Who's the He's the guy too. from uh, um, Law and Order, isn't it? Yes. I've not yeah. seen that yeah, one of Law and Order's. He's, yeah, he's not at all like his persona in that show. You're right. <laughs> oh my god, he's like, I'm, yeah, I'm he's just going to be thinking of his name. It, it kind of, like, the trailer kind of reminded me of. Uh, Jason Statham from Crank. Yeah. Like, he, he yeah. Was, had that Isn't wild energy. Maloney? Something like that? I'm almost positive. John Maloney? Uh, something like that. Oh, the, the actor's name? Yeah, I'll yeah, look yeah, it up. Yeah. I'll look it up. Exactly. Uh, anyway, it's just going gonna, gonna to eat away at me. We were talking about, like, Mom. we brought up, like, favorites are about faith. Ella said that, and you guys... I think Mickey said no. I'm like, it is about faith. Because like, you do a favor in the faith, like one day if you ask this person a favor back, that they'll remember that you did a favor for them. Sure. Like, but that's just... that's But that's wrong. Because she says you do a favor that... Right, are free. That's not a free favor. Yeah, she didn't want to because you're expecting something in the, in the future. But like, she he tried to exchange something in that moment. Yeah, she didn't want to. She wasn't. Yeah, she was. Well, like, she, she was trying to say that favors are free, and yeah. he was he was trying to say favors aren't free. Favors are always yeah. there's always a cost to a favor. He's trying to say right. do this for me, so I owe you this. She's yeah, saying, Why and she says usually favors are free because you just got to have faith that's going to come back. Like to you so that maybe it. one day she won't ask. Like maybe she won't ask him for a favor. But, maybe one day, but somebody else will ask him for a favor. So like that's the way he comes back in a way. Like you're well, just. 
Well, if she does, well, well, you're passing favors on. Well, having that thought process inherently, before, first of all, it's Christopher Maloney. Yes, but like, so close. but John. but just in saying having faith that it'll come back to you, you have an expectation yeah. that it's going to come back to you. That's not true altruism. Yeah, true altruism is like I'm going to do something nice for you, and then I'm going to go about my day. And but like, I'm faith not... is like what yeah. comes around goes around. But that's not true altruism. Yeah, see, I, so that's like, why the good thing would make yeah. is like when I, when you do a favor and if you expect something, well, then true, you, you attach a cost, is, a cost to it. It's good intent. You do you do something with good intent, and then that's it. Yeah, and, then and there's there's, there's no conditions. Yeah, there's, but like faith yeah. is just like you're just putting your blind faith out there, like just like blindly putting it out there, like whatever happens happens, what comes around come around, kind of thing. Like that's the way I see it. Like, but yeah, no, I'm mean, so, I kind of I get what you're saying though. Like if if I know that. Good intent behaves good intent. Basically, if I do someone a favor, knowing that someone else will do me a favor, that's not. Oh, that's just how things work. That's not a problem. Yeah, it's and not there's nothing right. wrong with that thought process. But if you're arguing like altruism, like putting like even when we say, "Oh, I'm gonna put good karma out into the world today," subconsciously we're hoping that that comes back. Good, that comes back to us positively, and that's not. But you're putting the faith. The you're, you're putting faith that you hope that it comes back to you. Though it's not necessarily gonna come back to you. It's like not even trade. I don't think there's hope. I think there's like it's, it's literally a knowledge. I feel like I like, sound so dumb too. I'm just yeah, trying, to, I'm trying to sound like just like the like the faith in like the powers of the world or whatever. No, no, I, I know, no. but 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 like yeah, even I, I get what both of you are saying. You're both correct. What Mickey's mm. saying is just that altruism stops it with the intent of the action. Like there's no to like it, the definition of it. There's nothing beyond that. There's no yeah, I, hope I of guess. reciprocation. There's no hope of mass betterment it's just you do something mm. good with or you do a good action with good intent and then you're done and then you just do that as many times as you can but, but see i don't think that there's even, no like four but i don't even think that's possible because there's right. there's always on some Again, it's a theory there's always on some, but, but because even but no like no, no, I, wait, 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 hold on. Let, let me just finish this one thought like doing something good just to feel good about yourself that is also selfish in a way because like right. on a subconscious level there's always going to be some understanding of yeah, you know, I, I I did something good and I feel good about myself. That is a that is a selfish thing. It, but like, yeah, I, so it's, I, I, like, it's like a discipline. It's like an idea. I, 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 and it I is think, something that is like practical. I don't think action. it's uh, I don't think it can really be done. I don't know. You have to really. But like, if you do it enough time, example, like I, you know, if I have like my food left over, like money, and like, I see people passing the card, and he hates when I do this, for example. But I I'll give it to a person standing out there who's in need. First two times, yeah, I felt good about it. Like, oh, I just did a cool thing. But eventually, you just like do add like because you feel that. I don't know. Damn it, because yeah, I feel like I'm. Yeah, but if you feel bad, then you do the good. Uh, uh, see, see, that's her, but I, but there's but, but, the but there's nothing gray. wrong with doing that. Like doing <laughs> right. good things is a good thing. But I don't know if true. By I don't think true altruism exists. Is, it cannot yeah, exist. Yeah. Right. In the human well, world, it cannot let, exist. Let, let me ask you. What about like, super rich people? Like they have so much money, to just give it out. No, just, like, but. Nah. They, there's tax benefits. Oh my god, guys! Charity has tax benefits. There's yeah. some good rich people out there. I want to believe that there's good people. Bill Gates. Wait, wait. Pat, giving, let me, giving let me, money to charity isn't. Bill Gates. I want to. I want to. I want to ask Pat because I've literally seen you do this. Is like, so, like, uh, when COVID started and like the influ- <laughs> no, and like the influx of like homeless people. Like I've, I've seen you like you know take food from your fridge and be like, hey, I saw this guy outside. Aww. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go help him out real quick. So like. What made you want to do that? And and did you feel good about yourself afterwards? I did. I'm not trying to put you on the spot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I did it because I saw a guy suffering, and I know I've been there before, and I would want somebody to help me out. So, like, again, it's still selfish. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But no. It, it's... No, no, no. Okay, selfish is a strong word, but it's just it's just that... It's just that I did a nice thing and now I feel good about doing that nice thing. Feeling good about doing that nice thing goes against the true definition of altruism yeah. because on a subconscious level it is something selfish right. but that doesn't mean that you shouldn't do it like yeah, you know, it means that you shouldn't be body. happy about it right. you shouldn't be proud of yourself yeah no this is for helping someone it, it's, we're it's, it's getting it's into theory, real life like, <laughs> <laughs> you guys know Bill Gates Bill Gates and his wife yes. they literally like they don't have they, they don't even give, they don't have a trust fund set for their kids I think yeah, is that they true? Don't. They don't. Like that's that's true. Just like selflessness. Like yeah, but do you know how my tax benefits are getting out? Yeah, that's <laughs> 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 We're getting into the nitty gritty. Like yeah, do good right. things and feel good about it. That's how the world <laughs> should work. But. I, you know, we're, we're getting into like real anyway, life. So anyway, we're getting into like the like, sub like, like, um, topic of altruism. <laughs> but I, I don't, I don't think by definition well, it. Look it what Ella started. Because 
you have chemicals in your brain that you can't help that exactly. like, release when you do something. So yeah. if you do something good and it makes you feel good, you have that's a what non automated or it's an automated function. Mm -hmm. Like you have no control over that. Exactly. So yes, that means yeah, in my mind it means altruism, yeah, it's just a practice or a theory. Yeah, that thing's exactly. like, yeah. You should practice altruism as much as you can. So hold on, I have a question. I think that might be an example <laughs> you know, for like true right altruism. Right yeah. Mother Teresa, she never expected anything. She was poor. She never really had anything, so she couldn't got anything from it. No, no, no. I'm gonna say, cut you off right now. She probably felt good by doing whatever good she did, because that's what you guys are saying. That is. I mean, yeah. Well, she yeah. Did she but she did it for so she long. She I did. Did. But that's she what I'm saying. I was saying, eventually, I've been giving people like money and food for so long, and you stop feeling. I was like, yeah, first few times I felt good, but eventually, it just feels like. Yeah. That's what I'm trying to say. Yeah. Like I don't expect anything yeah, after that yeah, anymore. You're altruism right there. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think you're right. You're, it's like you know, I, I, we all have things that we do, and it just hey, do do good things, be good people. Anyway, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So basically, yeah, we got through all that stuff. Like mom burned the map and everything. Mom's Mom reason like is evil. People. Yeah. yeah, she's evil. Her <laughs> reason was to have the the, her, the the dad's toys play together and they all die eventually. She wanted to that talk. hurt a little bit. I'm like, am I a toy in this whole world right now? That is your <laughs> ex-wife taking your newly built Corvette and crashing it into you <laughs> on purpose. <laughs> Just so your dad will pay attention. No, oh my God. God. And lastly, that girl jealous of like Ellen and, and Lucy. Do you guys think that she has <laughs> other feelings while she was jealous? Yeah, uh, 100%. Yeah. <laughs> she was I'm so <laughs> transparent this <Yeah>. episode. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty true. But also, she wants what she can't have. Before we talk about that, going back to burning the letter, pro tip if you're ever going to burn evidence, just watch burn it burn. Away. Just, like, <laughs> just, just stay until it's burned. Yeah. Like, like, it's so it. yeah, I didn't know that they could like watermark it back or whatever it, she said. Yeah, like, I, know. Know. So I did it with the poly. I don't know what she if, said. If it was printed on letterhead, which apparently it was, then mm -hmm. yes, they can. Yeah, that's crazy. Shred and burn. Remember, Shredder. even in uh, Money Heist, they got that little... That yeah! Little tiny. <laughs> but, uh, uh, this in the, in the yeah, we could... Fireplace. Uh, let, let's cap it off with the Chloe and... Da we, we, we already talked about Dan's We talked right? about everything, yeah. yeah. I mean, we get their jealousy, too, I guess. Yeah. Alrighty. That was a good discussion. That was a good episode. Yeah, we yeah, had fun with you guys. Fun. Let us know what you guys think about faith and favors. And altruism. Oh, yeah. yeah. You know it's just about us. Please. Comment below. It's going to be paragraphs. I know. It's like, that's not selfish. <laughs> Run is right. I, I right. hope we were all able to articulate our yeah, feelings our feeling. yeah. well yeah. enough. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but, you know, the point is, do good stuff. Even, Please do. Even if it makes you feel good about yourself, that's not a bad thing. <laughs> Come back next week for more conversations about altruism. <laughs> Bye. 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 Hey everyone, thanks for watching, and a big shout out to Doppelganger, Old Man, Quasi, Sakif, Clayton, Harry, Explorin, Dane, Mr. Mamas, Joe Mags, Yusuf, Kadeem, ZJP, and Keyboard Junkie. Thanks guys!